What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into Nightwing issue 108. I know we're a little bit behind when it comes to the Nightwing title, but I promise you we're gonna get caught up on it. Because Nightwing is one of the handful of series that I really do enjoy coming from DC Comics. This is continuing on the story of the Crew of the Crossed. Recently learning that the ex-lover Beatrice, once fleeing to Nightwing, she she is in fact a pirate queen and she is the one that has access to the hold. The hold is a secret. It is kept away, locked away, a storage for everybody's secrets. You can store whatever you want in the hold and it will be protected. Nightwing has something stored away here. He doesn't know what it is from his time as Rick Grayson. So now he's trying to uncover what that might be. But to do so, he has to work with the Pirate Queen. Right now, somebody is after her. The claim to her throne is in jeopardy. And Nightwing is here to assist her, to protect her, and to stop Beatrice's brother from taking the throne from her. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we pick up with Nightwing finding out who one of the traitors on the ship are. Trying to break into the captain's quarters, Nightwing catches him dead in the act. The man responsible is Travis. Obviously, Nightwing is able to take this guy down. There's nowhere to run. He's on a ship. Tying him up, Travis is dead set on defending Beatrice's brother, saying that she is an imposter. By his standards, she is not a blood. She is not their captain. Beatrice saying to Lucas to get whatever information she can out of him without using violence. This is because Nightwing is here telling them that beating up a tied up man is not the right thing to do. But Nightwing also also goes on to say that there could be more than one traitor on board. She is more concerned on Nightwing freezing up earlier. When Lucas had gone overboard, Nightwing froze. If he's being honest with himself, he doesn't know what that was. He doesn't know what happened. But this conversation quickly turns into their past drama. She lets Nightwing know that everything he has accomplished, she helped grease the wheels. His social programs, his housing, the minimum wage, public transportation. She figured that he would have checked in, acknowledged something. But the truth is, he couldn't. He thought that he would be able to walk away in some stoic manner. But he really wanted to protect her. He cared about her. But this also makes her wonder, what about Batgirl? Do you not also worry about her safety? The way he sees it, Batgirl is a superhero. She knows the risk. She can take care of herself. Beatrice proclaiming that she is a pirate queen. But this is something that Nightwing never knew. And in this argument, she must accept defeat. The truth is, he didn't know and she knows that. But as they get some sleep, they wake up in the morning and they head into a cave. Going into this cave, you see the helmet of Black Manta, the Ocean Master's helm. These are nothing more than recreations, putting on a good show so that anybody tries crossing into these waters, they may think twice. But as we arrive, what we find is the hidden pirate city. There may be few places in this world that remain hidden to Nightwing and his friends. This is one of those places. As they get on land, they are greeted by one of the stewards, a woman named Lindsay. Bowing, we see that Beatrice is not about these formalities, not about these traditions. Lindsay, on the other hand, is very much for tradition. As Nightwing goes to say something, she also says that traditionally, a captain's consort remains quiet. Nightwing going to say something, Beatrice tells the consort to be quiet. Now, this is all in good fun, Beatrice definitely finding it amusing, but it also will help explain why he is here. Dressed the way he is, it's fair to assume that he is a consort. But they make their way to the seat of power. As they get ready to go inside, Nightwing recognizes that there is something off. Something doesn't feel right. 
and when Lucas goes to open those doors, he gets a shotgun blast right to the chest. Beatrice's brother is the one responsible. He is the one that pulled the trigger, proclaiming that Beatrice has no right to this title, that she is not his sister, simply a chunk of driftwood that his father had fished out of the water. Lindsay is the one that betrayed them, always one for tradition. Nightwing takes this opportunity and he attacks. He drops his smoke and this fight is well underway. Beatrice drawing out her sword. She cuts Lindsay's gun in half knocks her out, and as Dirk goes to run away, both Beatrice and Nightwing follow behind, Beatrice being in the lead. As she comes into a doorway, this is where Dirk drives a sword right into her stomach. She says that she will never give up the location of the hold, but he doesn't care. He is going to go find her ship, find her crew, and someone on board. After enough torture, they will give up the location, that he will get what he wants regardless. As Nightwing turns the corner and he screams for them to wait, this is when Dirk kicks her off of the ledge, saying that he has waited long enough for what is his. And we see Beatrice fall, the Pirate Queen plummeting down into the waters below. And that is where this issue will end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Tom Taylor's run of Nightwing has been phenomenal. I have continued to say this over and over. I cannot give enough praise to Tom Taylor's really take on Nightwing. This pirate story has been absolutely phenomenal. There's a bunch of great jokes in here, but it's also got a very serious tone to it. We're seeing that the history between Beatrice and Nightwing is not necessarily in the past. That both of them still have a little bit of lingering left there. And this is all because of the persona that Nightwing once was. The person known as Rick Grayson. This is the person that Beatrice had a relationship with. And so for Nightwing, that's not who he is. He is in love with Babs, but he cannot deny that she means something to him. She was a part of his life. She will always mean something to him. But what's even more awesome is this little pirate cove, this little hideaway city. There is so much here. They have casinos, they got restaurants, they got corporations here. It's a very unique place, hidden away, kept secret from the entire world. The next issue will be bringing this pirate saga to a close. We are finally going to learn exactly what Nightwing has hidden away in the hold. Something that will be detrimental to Tony Zuko. Before I close this out, I do want to let you guys know that most recently I was on the Hero Mode podcast. This is a brand new podcast with three awesome guys talking comics, talking comic movies, pop culture, anime, all the fun stuff that you guys want to hear, they are talking about. I was privileged enough to be on the most recent episode of the Hero Mode podcast. If you guys want to check that episode out, I will leave a link down in the description so you you guys can listen to 45 minutes of us going back and forth on comics. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on with Nightwing, you can check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that has been going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from $1 loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do this, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content that we have coming out, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.